Mira told us he was gathering an army. We have heard to think it's not bigger, but we can't fight that. He doesn't expect us to. He's trying to frighten us into surrender. I want every bolt aimed at Lord Whitehill the moment he appears. Ryan! Fuck! Crossbows up! Asher Forrester! Show your face, boy! Ryan! He's frightened, father. On ya! <laughs> Well, Lord, you must not have much faith in this army of yours if you feel the need to hide by my little brother. <laughs> you mistake me, Forrester. Ryan is here for your protection, to stop you from being stupid. You see, I'm here to end this once and for all. You got your little revenge on my men, but it's time you listen to reason. I could ram your gates down and kill every last one of you. Or, we could end the bloodshed here and now. This war is over, Asher. It ended the moment Roderick fell. By Ramsay's rules, I'm the victor here. This will all be mine now. One way or another. Oh, this is horse shit. Tell him to fuck off. Are you truly that blind, Lord? I am the Lord of House Forester! Ha! <laughs> That's funny! <laughs> He's the fourth Lord Forester I've seen in his many moons, Father. Let's put all this ugliness behind us. I'm willing to talk terms of your surrender. Surrender? Open your halls and bend the knee as my bannermen. You continue to produce ironwood under my supervision, of course. And you will join your house to mine, for all to see, by wedding my Gwyn. <laughs> well, fuck me. Asha, you can't! It's rather generous terms, actually. That would be easier to believe coming from Gwyn herself. Where is she? Far away from all this, of course. Besides, I speak on her behalf as her father. I would just as happily kill you all and be done with it. But I'm very generously giving you a way to keep your bloody lives. Oh, one last thing. As a show of my goodwill, I've brought home the body of your lord. Your brother was too stubborn to know when it was over. Roderick, let me see him. I want to see my brother. <clears throat> I'm sure your people will be relieved to keep their lives. We'll take Ryan too. But you want peace between our houses? Give me my living brother. You have an hour. I'll be waiting in my camp. No! 
I'm sorry, little brother. I've buried too many sons. Maester, take my brother's body. He will join Father and Ethan in the grove. As you say, my lord. But... Forgive me, I, I just... Perhaps the time has come to truly let this bloodshed end. We simply accept. We bow our heads and Asher marries Gwyn. Craven! It's not the worst terms I've ever heard. I can't bow my head to the fucking White Hills after all they've done. I may have loved Gwyn, but... No. No, not like this. Even if you went through with it, Lud would have you killed the moment Gwyn produced an heir. There will be no marriage. If we bow our heads now, we'll always be his slaves. We have to kill them, Asher. I piss on surrender. Let's ride out and kill them all. We ride! To us! Spill their blood! Believe me, I want to kill every last fucking one of them. But Lord still has Ryan. A direct attack is a sure way to see another forester dead today. But there may be another way we could win this. Lord rules that house with an iron fist. His sons, his bannermen, do nothing without his say-so. There may be 500 men outside that wall. Without Lord at the lead. They'll scatter like chickens with their heads cut off. That's good, but how? Lud will not simply cast aside his men and offer his neck. Such a task is easily said, but Lud is wary. We simply need a ruse to separate him from his army. To get him alone, feeling safe. And there's one way to do that. We tell Lud exactly what he wants to hear. We invite him inside to celebrate and drink to our union. And then? An ambush. Your pit fight is hidden until the last moment. No, an ambush is too chaotic. Things could go badly quickly. Lud could escape. There's another way. Poison in his wine. There are those who would call poison a coward's weapon. No. Lethal and direct. Either plan is high risk. We only lure Lud inside if the whole family is there to sell it. Talia and Ryan will both be in danger. We're already in danger. I'll be there, Duncan. I'll pour the wine myself. Poison is dog shit. You're here for revenge. You want him to choke on your blade, not his vomit. But in ambush, there's no way to control. Everything could go wrong. Poison is targeted. Lud will be the first to fall. I'm sure I have such a toxin in my stores. No. I came here to wet my sword in Westerosi blood. It's what you promised us. We are at a crossroads, my lord. We have to make a choice. These are the only options on the table. Asher is our lord now. The decision is yours. I understand the risks, but an ambush is the best way to kill as many White Hills as possible. Then we have a plan. Whatever happens to me, I need you to get Ryan out alive. As soon as we move on, Lord. Not a problem. You know you're the only family I've ever had. That makes Ryan my brother, too. I won't forget this. I've forgotten the number of times I've heard you say that. I've said that before. We will avenge Roderick's death tonight, whatever it takes. Send word to Lud. We'll drink this night to the prosperous future of our united houses. The key! Search the area! Lady Mira! There she is! 
Take her! What's all this? Lord Morgren. How lovely to run into you. Mira Forrester! You're coming with us! <coughs> My good sirs, there's no need for that. Surely you have more dangerous criminals to deal with than Lady Marjorie's handmaiden. We have orders from Captain Lucan Let to- Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. Thank you for keeping our city safe. Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mera? The Rivergate. Thank you. The Rivergate! Quick as you can! What's going on, Mira? Is there a problem? Maybe I can help. Minor trouble, Lord Morgren. Nothing I can't deal with. Of course, I never doubted that. Although those guards did seem quite intent on dragging you off. Clearly you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although... You've made short work of one of them, at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and lost. Andros was a snake, working for the White Hills. He got exactly what he deserved and no more. I'm inclined to agree. I doubt anyone will miss the oath. Of course, now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up. Particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. The Ironwood Market is wide open. A lot of gold to be made. There's opportunity enough for both of us, Lord Morgren. Think of what we could accomplish if we worked together. <laughs> I have thought about it. I've thought about it a great deal. You're clever, Mira. When you faced down Andros at the coronation party, well, let's just say you showed how formidable you really are. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Imagine a handmaiden stealing the Crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. Don't look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. Killing Lannister guards does not go unnoticed. Do you really think you'll get away with this? I already have. After Lud takes Ironrath, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mera. But it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. You're making a mistake, Morgren. Lud will turn on you the first chance he gets. You're a fool if you don't see that. Tell me, Mira. Who is the fool here? You or I? <laughs> We've arrived. Now get out of my fucking litter! Lucan, I fancy coming across you here. I seem to have found something you're looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. Finally, I got her. Lady Marjorie will hear of this. She'll have your head! Lady Marjorie will want nothing to do with you, Mira. It's time for you to answer for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Chin up, Mira. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick 